Hey there, I'm Ethan, and this summer I interned at Autodesk under the management of Carl White, testing CAM features in Inventor HSM. I'm going into my sophomore year at UC Berkeley, where I study mechanical engineering, build race cars with the Formula SAE team, and prototype inventive solutions to everyday problems with the Design Engineering Collaborative. Here at Autodesk, I focused on providing feedback for CAM features within Inventor HSM, namely in terms of user experience, features, functionality, and machine ability. Along with my fellow interns, I kept notes in our A360 project, CAD CAM Feedback. This was helpful in making our work more visible to employees within DLS and opening communication channels for suggestions and bug reporting. Giving good feedback required three main steps, CAD, CAM, and machining. Using Inventor, I designed parts with varying geometry and machining requirements in order to broaden the scope of my testing. I then generated toolpaths for these parts and experimented with parameters and settings for the best results I could achieve. I ran the G-code generated by Inventor HSM on the Haas VF2SS 3-axis CNC mill, the DMS 5-axis CNC router, and the other mill, a desktop 3-axis mill made by the other machine company, a San Francisco startup. I was fortunate enough to have a lot of freedom in my internship. As long as I was catting, camming, machining, and keeping notes, I could pretty much make whatever I wanted. I thought to myself, why make a fleet of useless doodads and trinkets when I could make useful things? So I made useful things. My iPhone's 30-pin connector was fraying, so I made a protective sheath for it out of 6061 aluminum. The first one was a bit bulky, so I iterated my design to make it smaller, lighter, easier to machine, and easier to install on the connector. I also designed and made a small vise for work holding in the other mill. Affectionately named the other vise, it bolts directly to the other mill's bed and has minimal effect on the machinable area of the mill, standing only about a half an inch tall. The folks over at the other machine company loved it, and I provided them with my CAD and documentation on the project as per their requests. My biggest project was a motorized, programmable camera slider for use with rig shots and time-lapse photography. It's a great mix of my loves for mechanical engineering, design, electronics, and photography, and so far it's working out great. The milled parts on it were certainly challenging to design a machine, and taught me a lot about designing for manufacturability. I had to give careful thought to the milling operations being performed and how the order of these operations would affect the machining process. I also had to think about the location of stock after each operation and how this would affect work holding, work offset measurement, and tool clearance. The pieces on the ends of the slider were machined from all six sides with a wide array of tools and techniques. I didn't just CAD CAM and mill all day though. I jumped at the opportunity to visit other labs and the other machine company to check out their facilities, meet the people behind the other mill, and give them feedback on both hardware and software. I helped choose components and set up the wireless audio system in the CNC shop to make tedious finishing pass operations a bit more bearable. Perhaps the most interesting exercise of all was comparing the cutting forces generated by FeatureCam and Inventor HSM while machining identical parts using the Spike Sensory Tool Holder. The amount of knowledge and experience I gained from this internship is pretty staggering. I went in with an intermediate understanding of CAD and a basic grasp of CNC machining, but I left with a deep understanding of CAD, CAM, design, manufacturing, milling, routing, water jetting, project documentation, networking, the list goes on and on. I learned things ranging from Always use down or climb milling for best cutting conditions to things like The only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. This has been an unforgettable experience full of incredible people and it's really opened my eyes to all the avenues and opportunities within Autodesk and the rest of the industry. I'm glad I was able to provide some helpful CAM feedback and that I can walk away from this internship feeling that I made a difference. Thank you, Autodesk.